Now, could this just quite be the winner of week five? The Burston and Cardin meets the Terminator and recall control has never been easier. Now, if you listen closely and stay real quiet somewhere out there, you can hear the quiet cries of the Soma as it watches from the distance. <clears throat> Mr. Video Maker, just tell me what I need to know and never do that again. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Where do you get the burst and incarnate from? Steel Path the Very Paradox Circuit Missions. Every week, you can select two out of five weekly rotating incarnate weapons, and this week, Burston is here to be picked. What does the evolved shot look like? Changing its form from a free round burst shot into a fully automatic, the Incarnate provides 600 shots to mow down enemy platoons like the seized gross that they are. And although it's not yet confirmed, I'm fairly certain Burston Incarnate was actually sponsored by Rambo. Now all I need is a really hot, sweaty, ripped dude with no t-shirt on in slow what evolution should you take evolution one as always this is given to you this will be your way to transmute and evolve the weapon into its incarnate state you could do this by landing headshots and building up your charges evolution two increase damage by 42 and gain a 500 multi shot on the final free round burst in your magazine or increase damage by 42 and using this weapon with any warframe with over 450 armor you gain two punch through so the second option is a bit of a niche one the punch through is good quality of life allowing for more multi-killer with the weapon but for general usage not all warframes have over 450 armor and unfortunately i won't be modding them for that either so if you do go and choose this route just remember to go and pair it with a nice tank type warframe and as for the first option all i want you to go ahead and remember as an example is that if you missed every single shot in your magazine until the very last three bullets that's okay but do try to hit those last three bullets because the damage that it can do is fantastic this also means that if you're weapon is ready to evolve before you've used all your ammo i would still recommend dumping your entire magazine then evolve because the weapon will still reload itself as it evolves into its incarnate form evolution three increase your magazine capacity by 21 gain 100 reload speed when reloading from an empty magazine or better recoil when shooting the weapon so for the first option i would specifically choose this if i needed the ammo for any reason whatever the reason it's up to you personally i think it's a bit weaker than the other selections the second option is interesting and i did test multiple times if when evolving the weapon from empty would help speed up the animation of the evolution it unfortunately did not and since evolving also reloads the weapons this is counterintuitive to take as an option if you are solely focusing on evolving the weapon however if you are not wanting to evolve the weapon then this option synergizes with evolution one because you can ammo dump the magazine and then here you can get a quicker reload so it works hand in hand for a non-incarnate route that leaves us with the final option and overall guys there isn't really a downside to taking this especially because i will be focusing on evolving this weapon to its incarnate form this will help control my firing and evolution four on full burst hit gain 20 percent damage Damage up to a maximum of 100% with five stacks. However, reloading or evolving the weapon will reset the damage. Gain 22% increased critical chance or gain 40% increased damage to an enemy per status type currently affecting them. So for the first option, I was excited to take this to see what I thought would be a 300% damage increase to a non-evolved Burston. However, it doesn't state that it caps damage at 100%. And if we compare that to the third option, we could actually gain more than 100% damage if they have more and more status elements procced on them. So unfortunately, I didn't really see much of a reason to take the first choice after the testing that we did for it. As for the second option, it's exactly what primary weapons would want in the current state of the meta. So it's pretty much a solid choice for me to instantly hover over and select from. And the third option, as explained briefly in comparison to the first, it yields us more damage in general. However, with my builds, you will see in a moment, I didn't really see the need to take this because if you already have arcanes or damage arcanes such as Merciless, or if you have the galvanized aptitude mods, then there isn't really that much of a reason to add this in here. It's definitely a good choice, but for me and for the build that i'm taking i'm not going to be taking this selection what build should you take yeah it's happening guys a fully automatic weapon that can benefit from critical chance can easily scream for our hunter munitions build due to the scaling and the reliability of the meta that we are currently in so this is a safe choice to add breathing room into the gun allowing it to perform if you just decided to stay further in your endurance missions and because the weapon has such good rate of fire i decided to pop on the critical chance on headshots such as galvanized scope and we entered the red number 
lumber builds to make things fancier. As for the arcanes, it's okay if you don't have one. I would bring in serration or galvanized aptitude for damage and replace the scope mod for now. But if you do have arcanes, I would recommend damage such as arcane merciless as it can complement our slash builds without any interruptions like deadhead could. And guys, this isn't the only build out there that exists. The weapon is pretty damn strong, so feel free to play around with whatever you currently have available for you mod-wise and whatever playstyle fits you. Well, guys, there you have it. The Bursting Incarnate comes raining out of the skies as it enters its full Super Saiyan form. The question is, where do we rank it in comparison to what we have had so far? What do you guys think? And if you could have changed any of these evolutions for the Bursting, what would you have liked to have seen been replaced? As always, guys, thank you for checking out today's video, but please don't forget to leave a cheeky bit of support with a like or a share. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, guys, brrr.